this is Chris Presents. I'm walking in downtown Chicago. It's Wednesday, August 28th, 2019, and the time is 12.30 p.m. I'm just going to walk in downtown Chicago, and uh, something new I want to point out. I'm using a, a windshield for the camera so the wind won't be as, as intruding as... Uh, it is when it's windy. It's very windy right now. So uh, this is the first video I'm doing it with this uh, um, equipment. And basically, uh, what I want to do is uh, find out two things. Number one, if the video, if the video uh, has good quality audio and the second thing I want to find out if uh, you can hear me and you can see the flags there is very windy I just want to make sure number one you can hear me and number two the wind is not really interfering with uh, with the video so right now I'm on uh, Ontario Street in Fairbanks and I'm just going to walk uh, north on Fairbanks. And let's see what the camera takes us. That's a fa by the way, a very famous uh, Irish bar there is called Team of Tools. It's in. Uh, downtown Chicago, so we're just going to walk, uh, it looks like the sidewalk is closed, so we're going to go down a different path, we'll go down on uh, Ontario Street, and uh, it's a really, really uh, beautiful day, it's a little bit windy, but the temperature is like... Uh, Perfect. It's like 74 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is good for uh, Chicago standards. Not hot, not cold. Just perfect, 74 degrees. And we're just walking down Ontario Street. And I'm uh, basically uh, going to the dentist right now. It's on the other side of uh, downtown. I have a 1.30 appointment, the one I do every year, I mean twice a year, every six months. And it's 12.30 right now, so I should be able to, uh, to make it. So we have this wind preventing equipment that I attached to the camera and basically the only thing I did is taped taped uh, a little foam that I bought into the microphone that's all I did I'm not really attaching anything on the side and uh, let's see how it works so throughout this video you're gonna hear me talking mentioning uh, doing a voice test and also I'm going to keep quiet at some point so you can uh, hear the the sights the sounds actually I will say the sounds of of the city so we're going to go down on St. Clair now I just made a turn left going north on St. Clair and again it's a beautiful day Hope you can hear me. Very windy. I can hear the wind. I usually want to hear this. Uh, want to hear this sound. The camera doesn't really have a good uh, audio on the wind. Kicks in and then you cannot hear me. But hopefully with this uh, adjustment that I made, everything will be fine. So we're going to go down on uh, Ohio Street now, yeah this is Ohio Street where all the uh, 
well-known hotels are in Chicago and in Michigan Avenue. And then right across from there, from me right now, you can see the Sayad Nova Armenian restaurant. And just for the for the record, I'm, I'm half Armenian from my mother, from my father's side. My mother is uh, Greek Cypriot, so this is the restaurant here. And uh, it's located at 157 uh, East, I believe, uh, Ohio. And I think this is the only uh, Armenian uh, restaurant in downtown Chicago, not in Chicago in its entirety, but in downtown Chicago. It's a real, real nice location next to Michigan Avenue that we're going to see in just a second. And as you can see, it's getting uh, cloudy right now. It's not supposed to rain, but that's okay for the videos because we get a better, better footage, better picture. The sun is not going against us. And now we're going to go north on Michigan Avenue from Ohio Street. And uh, I like these big sidewalks. One thing about, I like about uh, big cities and downtowns is the sidewalks. If the sidewalk is bigger than the street, even better. I can walk freely and do my videos. But if the sidewalks are very small, like some places in Cyprus, I still do the videos, but it's very, very uh, challenging. All right, so we're approaching the uh, Intercontinental Hotel and this is by the way on the first floor they also have uh, a real nice world famous steak restaurant I'm sure you don't know the name is the Michael Jordan's Steakhouse I'm gonna show you in a second the, the outside we're not gonna go inside but I'm gonna show you the outside this is the Intercontinental Hotel right here but the, the the restaurant is right on the side, side entrance. It's this one right here. As you can see, this is Michael Jordan's steakhouse. This is the original, maybe not the original, but this is uh, Michael Jordan's uh, famous uh, Steak restaurant, and now we're gonna cross the street. And this is uh, Illinois Street. We're crossing the street on Illinois Street, and then on the street I'm walking on is uh, Michigan Avenue. It's called North Michigan Avenue up to a certain point. I think it starts from here the North Michigan Avenue. And uh, it's going to end pretty soon, and then it's going to start the regular Michigan Avenue, and then, and then it goes down to South Michigan Avenue. So it's a pretty big uh, avenue, long, long one. They call it the Magnificent Mile, but I think it's more than a mile. And then I'm going to show you now a little bit of the, the buildings here. This is one of the beautiful places in downtown Chicago, very picturesque. And this area here is called the 401 North Michigan Avenue. You can see over there, that's the NBC Tower. And then something new, the Chicago Tribune newspaper moved out of this building, this, this uh, beautiful classic building, and they're going to convert it into condominiums. I'm sure they're in the process of doing it right now, but they're gonna keep the other the exterior historic uh, uh, part of the building. So they're doing only the the inside. The uh, the So we're a little bit touches on the outside. And then over here you have the Wrigley Building, another 
famous here and then you got the Trump Tower on the right uh, one of the newest uh, additions to the skyline so, and if I'm not mistaken it may be the the tallest building in Chicago right now I could be wrong or one of the tallest in addition to the other ones and right over there is the Apple store and if you can see on the top you cannot see it from here but you're on the top of one of those buildings looking down it's in the shape of an iPad that's the, the, the famous Apple store and then we're gonna go down this way and uh, here's another view of the skyline we're just waiting for the light to turn green CTA bus coming It's lunch hour right now in uh, downtown Chicago. I'm just going to show you another uh, view here of the North Michigan Avenue area. You can see a lot of the high rises over there. And we're just going to go join the crowd across the street. A little bit diagonally. And this is the other part of the skyline. So we're right on... Uh, on Michigan Avenue, uh, we're in downtown Chicago, and I can hear the wind uh, blowing right now. So hopefully you can hear me, and hopefully uh, this test video for the sound will be successful. If that's the case, then I will start using my uh, my new uh, equipment that I attach to the camera. Hopefully it will. Uh, Black the wind. All right, so we're just walking now on North on uh, Michigan Avenue. This is called the Michigan Avenue Bridge, by the way. And as you can see, the Chicago River with boats. They have boat tours. There's a couple of boats. One going this way. One going that way very beautiful all day and then the one the yellow one you see coming uh, that's a water taxi it takes you from uh, different places around the river from here it can take you all the way to the train station for uh, probably five dollars or less so it's not a tour boat it's just a Chicago water taxi the business uh, people use it to go uh, faster to the destinations to the train station and also the tourists use it and I haven't used it yet so one of these days I'm gonna get on that water taxi and uh, film a video so they just arrived to this stop right here and then we're gonna go and keep walking to get as much footage as possible Again, it's Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. Uh, right now it's about 12.40 p.m. in the afternoon. And uh, we're walking on uh, Michigan Avenue. I always like to use the uh, we instead of I because I'm walking with you. And I want you to have the same uh, view and feeling that you are there walking with me. So, uh, probably it's best to go down this way and show you a little bit more the area. I still have uh, plenty of time before I go to the dentist's office, which is very close to here. So we're just li gonna leave uh, Michigan Avenue. And uh, this one here is called Walker Drive. And then I want to show you the the Marina Twin Towers uh, that were built in the either late 60s or early 70s and they were part of many 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 movies this one right over there 
as you can see there are two towers marina towers two twin buildings and then if you can see at the bottom the first probably 20 stories are uh, parking spaces i don't know if you can see it i'll try to zoom for you see all those at the bottom of there they got cars in it and then actually there are some famous car scenes uh, in, in some of the movies that I do not recall the name of them right now where uh, the cars just sky just dive from there to the inside the river that was in the 70s uh, back in the 70s a lot of those movies a lot of car chases car uh, now at this point here, I'm gonna stand here for a few seconds. This is the area where it's very, very windy. I can hear the wind. So this is gonna be another critical point for me deciding if I'm gonna use this equipment. I'm gonna make sure you can hear me okay. And also, uh, the wind won't be as, as intrusive as it usually is in uh, some of my videos when I, uh, when I reach this uh, location. And then we're, we're seeing a big bus tour of USA here. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is like a bus company that uh, I think is all over the world because I've seen that in uh, many, many countries, including Istanbul. Just to name one that I remember that I saw that bus. <clears throat> and now we're just going to walk down on uh, Walker Drive and <coughs> this is like diagonally. I'm just reading the signs for you. Uh, but this is Wabash, so we're just gonna go try go on Wabash. Once the on Wabash, once the the light turns green, or we just can go to the other side. Whatever, whatever comes first. And again, this is another point where it's very windy. Call it Windy City for a reason. So sure, that's not the reason for it, but the nickname literally sticks. Uh, windy City is always windy here in this area. All right, so we're gonna. This is Walker Drive and Wabash. Wabash is the one I'm standing on, and Walker Drive, as you can see the signs right over there. Right in the middle of downtown, there is a church over there. Seven, seven Day Church of Christ, I believe it says. No idea what uh, denomination is that, but it's interesting. It's a Christian church right in the middle of uh, downtown. There are quite a few like that. Actually, there is a, a, a Greek church right on uh, Madison. I, I filmed it before in other videos. You can look for it or whatever if you search Madison Street inside my videos. And so we're right now on Wabash. That's the street, by the way, that my uh, my dentist is on. But. I'll probably stop the video in, in, in a few minutes. I still have time though, I have another 45 minutes until I for my appointment. So I'm gonna keep filming and uh, the sun has completely disappeared at the moment. But I can see in the camera, you still get a good uh, uh, picture. And right over there, those are the elevated tracks where the trains go back and forth. Uh, they call it the L for short. It just keeps going in circles. There is like a big uh, historic train. It's been like it's been like that for a long time, and then it connects all the the parts of the city. And then uh, this is the part that comes. Uh, that comes in downtown. So we're gonna go now a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try to uh, maybe go this way. I don't 
don't know what street is this is uh, I'm guessing it's Lake Street we'll find out in a minute so it's lunchtime in uh, downtown Chicago and we're just walking different parts of the, of the downtown area beautiful day in August 74 degrees uh, Fahrenheit probably 20 degrees to 25 degrees centigrade I'm just guessing I'm used to the American system so it's hard for me to to convert it into centigrade unless I'm in Cyprus and I do a lot of videos and then I I remember the temperature conversion so yeah that was Lake Street I see the sign right over there so we're on Lake in uh, Michigan and I just want to show you a little bit here what's going on and this is uh, the Fox News station TV station right here and more high-rises, apartment buildings, offices and I also film uh, street musicians so this is the area, this is the street where the music, street musicians hang out I would say the next five, six blocks so if we run out to any uh, musicians I may just uh, film a video and I may just keep it inside this uh, walking video I may just uh, uh, make a separate video that I usually do or I may just do both okay now the sun uh, is coming back now we're getting more more light in the video and we got the green light so we're crossing on uh, on Michigan Avenue and since if you follow me uh, over the years uh, since I started filming in 2012 a lot of the places have changed like it used to be over here uh, 7-eleven uh, convenience store now it's gone I'm not sure where I maybe this one here probably this one here it was a 7-eleven uh, store and it looks like more and more uh, companies are taking over and uh, And then we're approaching now the the Millennium. It's called the Millennium uh, train station, metro station on uh, on Rindle Street. So we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go this way. And over there is the Chicago Cultural Center. Very, very, very impressive. It used to be the old Chicago Public Library, as you can see on top of the sign. And now it's the Chicago Cultural Center where they do uh, cultural events, concerts, art exhibitions, all different, uh, all different. Uh, types of uh, cultural events and this side street here is Garland I did a video of Garland before you can look it up on uh, YouTube and by the way if you like my videos uh, please subscribe I film all over the world uh, but most of the videos are are uh, film in downtown Chicago because I live here and work here and then the second uh, most popular place I, I film is Cyprus because I'm originally from Cyprus and I visit Cyprus uh, every October and I film about 300 videos when I do so well, I guess we hear some music now this is the train
to go that way. It's windy at this uh, point here, so I'm gonna do a little bit of talking so see if you can hear me. And then we're approaching State Street. Uh, this is State and uh, Randolph, I believe. This beautiful theater here uh, and the longer. Yeah, this is State and Randolph Streets. We're in the middle of the theater district. <laughs> but we're gonna go down this way on... Uh, Ellie, you really did. Okay. On State Street, we're gonna go south on... Uh, oh my God, I know. On okay. State Street. Now I know. What? We have problems with A lot of traffic, as you can see, uh, cars, pedestrians. And this is the subway right here. The red line there to be specific. Person on the bicycle. And there's a lot of bicycle lanes here in Chicago. You'll see you see a lot of people on bicycles uh, going by. So we're right on State Street. And I'm gonna turn left on the next street so I can go to my dental appointment. I still have 35 minutes, but I don't want to be late. And uh, we're just going to go uh, this way. As you can see, there's a lot of construction going on. And I just want to show you this mural of the famous musician uh, that was in Chicago, Mighty Waters. The late Mario Waters, I just want to show you. It's right up there. And uh, we're going down on uh, on Washington Street now, from State Street. And to go back to Wabash, and we're going to end the video right there. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Chris Cruzans and uh, we did about a 30 minute walk in downtown Chicago, testing my uh, new audio shield equipment. And if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel below. There are almost 2000 uh, videos on the channel and uh, and 1,000 videos, Chicago videos alone. All right, thank you everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video.